so you see them and like our two-year-old would just be looking in the water butt that collects the water right. with his older cousin with a stick mm -hmm. for about half an hour they're just talking like they're by a water cooler mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like what are these guys talking about mm -hmm. but they're just like looking at all the insects they're yeah, just yeah. chatting and creating mm -hmm. their own stories <laughs> that's dope <don't> that's <laughs> How do you approach the process of selecting and developing the recipes included in your book? Mm. Mm. Do you want to take this one? Yeah, so I think most of the recipes were kind of focused on what we can grow in this climate, mm -hmm. which isn't a lot. <laughs> and also kind of with the publisher's direction, stuff that can be grown around the world as well, mm. so that the book can have a bit more of a widespread appeal and things that we're kind of familiar with. So. We didn't want to go too left field or too experimental or too many ingredients. It's kind mm. of keeping the ingredients list down, which is not something that most people do, but still keep the flavors right. mm. present as well. So it was basically mm. fine tuning that, yeah. that kind of balance. Yeah. And kind of choosing stuff that's easy to grow. So people, when their first attempt at growing, they get a little bit of success with it because right. it is quite you're always learning with growing stuff and there's always new challenges that will come up like mm -hmm. year after year when you think you've got it all sus, something else will just come as a curveball and you have to react to it and be yeah. dynamic. But I think it's important that that first experience, you get something back from it and then that sparks the flame for you to mm -hmm. kind of That's keep right. going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, because it's that thing of like, we would, we've sort of learnt to replace certain things. So in our cupboards, like the flour that we use, we might be using more spelt and whole grain flour. Mm. We might use coconut sugar instead of refined sugar. Right. So we might drop a little bit of that into the recipes, but not too much mm. <laughs> so that people, you know, and always pro provide alternatives. So you can mm. replace this with this or that with that yeah. to make it more accessible. Oh, that's good, man. Mm. It's starting to make me think about, um, my cupboards and what's in <laughs> Yeah, it's good to have a cupboard, cupboard cleanse every now and then, oh, cupboard, cupboard audits. Trust me, um, yeah, I'll go into that a bit later with you guys um, about my my journey with health and all 